Hey everybody, thanks for uh, tuning into the video. Um, obviously, as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be talking about uh, loops and if statements. Uh, and in particular, we're going to be using uh, Bash shell scripting as an example. Um, and I mean, just a little background, uh, if you don't know already, um, loops and if statements are what gives scripts and programs anything on, that's written on the computer, right? So any program. Um, it, it, it really gives it its logic. It gives it its ability to make decisions based on conditions or wait for specific things. And really, it's, it's, it's the heart of any computer program. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's, how the program is able to do anything other than one simple little task, um, you know, like, like a single command or something, right? So, so uh, understanding uh, how loops and if statements work on a fundamental level is is going to make you better at writing scripts or writing programs, etc. So, um, very, uh, uh, very important stuff, uh, yet very basic stuff. Uh, so, I, I, I I'm just going to make a, a simple example of each kind of uh, uh, each kind of loop that I typically use um, when I'm when I'm writing, uh, you know, any standard script. The loops I'm going to cover are going to be uh, while loops, until loops, for loops. And uh, I'll cover an if statement uh, as well. Um, so uh, we'll start with a while loop. So um, simple way of explaining a while loop is it um, it checks for a condition, some sort of condition that you specify. And while that condition is met in whatever form or fashion, it will do a list of things. And then once that condition is not met, uh, it will move on to the rest of the script or whatever whatever you have it do. So uh, I'll quick paste in a while loop that I just wrote. So and we'll go through it here. Uh, the timer uh, equals ten, uh, and here's the start of our while loop. So so uh, this is just declaring a variable um, equals ten. So timer equals ten. While timer uh, dash ge is greater or equal to 8, it will do this. Uh, again, while the, t uh, the contents of the variable timer is greater or equal to 8, it will do, uh, print to the screen, don't worry, you still have time, sleep 1 will wait 1 second, and then it subtracts 1 from the timer variable, uh, it subtracts 1 from the timer variable, and then restores that into timer. So it would be 10 minus 1 if it was the first time it ran. And then it, so at that point, uh, it's still not greater or equal. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, it still is greater or equal to 8. So it will continue to run. Now understand it doesn't check the logic until it reruns up here. So, so it's going to uh, loop through and once. Uh, Screw up my text there. Once it is less than 8, so once it reaches 7, it will break out of this loop here and it will issue, um, uh, it will print this text to the screen. As you can see, oh boy, you're almost out of time. You might want to panic. Uh, you have, and then it will list the contents of the timer variable seconds left. So I'm going to save that clear my terminal here and I save it as test.sh and I'm going to run it. So don't worry you still have time, it's continuing to loop through and then it prints, oh boy you're almost out of time, you might want to panic, you only have seven seconds left. So um, good way to uh, get familiar and get comfortable. Uh, if if this makes the most sense to you, you know, write this script out and just play with it. Play with the variables. Um, do um, equal to eight, or you know, do just greater than eight. See what happens when it's comparing. It's greater than eight. Um, you know, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's that's just a simple while loop. Uh, this would be something uh, to control time. Uh, if there's a timing aspect to your to your program, this this would be something you could use um, uh, to to control time. So we'll move on until uh, uh, to, to an until loop, and that is very very similar to a while loop. It's just a different way of doing the comparison. So 
In a while loop, it's while the condition is met, do these things. And in the until loop, it's pretty much the opposite. Until this condition is met, do, uh, do these things. So you have one condition, and once it meets it, it stops. Versus a while loop, um, uh, you know, it's, it's when it doesn't meet the condition. So I'll quick paste in an until loop that I have written here, and we'll go through it. I'll just space this out here so it's easier to see. So again, just declaring my number variable equals zero. And until this condition is met, and what is this condition? Um, my number, the contents of my number, equals five. So until the contents of my number equal five, we're gonna do this. We're gonna say, I'm waiting to tell you my name, be patient. Sleep one, which is waiting one second, and then it adds one to the variable my number. So it, take, it takes my number, uh, adds one to it, and then restores that into my number. And then it reruns until my number equals five. And once it breaks out of that loop, it's gonna say, my name is Kyle. So again, just to, uh, just to reiterate, until my number equals five, do this list of things and loop through, keep doing this until it, until it equals five. And then we're gonna break away and do the rest of the script. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this, clear my terminal and run it. Waiting to tell you my name, please be patient. And then it says my name is Kyle. So again, this is uh, demonstrating, um, uh, you know, showing showing time, um, uh, you know, controlling time. But you know, until loops again, I I, I use these all the time. So um, very 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 useful. Um, the next loop uh, I'm going to show you is a for loop, and that is um, that's entirely different. Um, from a while and until loop, it's uh, the whole concept's kind of different. So let me paste in one that I just wrote quick, and we'll go through it here. So as you can see, for result, I keep doing that. For result in, uh, and this is a command that I'm running right, right in that loop, which is which is not you. And you can do this with with any of the loops. You can you can run a command. Um, in that loop uh, declaration up here. So um, I'm doing that by just doing the, uh, the back ticks here. Um, so surrounding those in, 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 the, in the back ticks will, uh, will allow you to run that command. So um, for result in this. So when I first learned about a for loop, it, this, this kind of you know made it difficult for me to understand. I, I didn't understand what was happening. Um, in here, I didn't understand where this result was coming from and where and how it was used, etc. So, best way for me to explain it is this: uh, this ls home Kyle. So th this is going to list the list the files and directories in uh, my home folder. That's going to return a list of five, ten, twenty, thirty things that's in that's in that folder, right? That's that that's a list of things, right? Um, and we have to, uh, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to handle each one of those individually and then go through that list. So if I have five things like um, documents and my file and pictures, right? Um, and, and that's what this command is going to return. It's going gonna, it's gonna to store this into the variable result. And then it's going to do these commands. And then because there's another one, it's going to store this my file, the, th this here, in a result. And then it's going to do these. And then it's going to store the pictures in, in, in the variable result and do these. It's not going to store the pictures individually. I, I'm saying if, if ls slash home slash Kyle returns this, these directories, right, um, then, then, then it would then it would use those as as like the arguments uh, of the for loop. So uh, again, for for result in the results of this command, that's a good way to say it. For for a single result in the results of this command, we're going to do this. We're going to echo I have a file or folder in my home directory called 
dollar sign uh, uh and, and i'm sorry uh dollar sign results calling that variable so call uh called whatever it is that it's processing in that list at the time and then it's gonna echo a blank line and it's gonna continue to loop through this as long as there's more stuff to continue on with so if i had 20 things here it would print um it would print this series 20 different times so it's it's a way to it's a way to handle things in a list right so you could have an array there you could have a list you could be echoing the contents of a file that have a list of directories or files or times or you know whatever you want in there um so you could do all that and then once it's done doing all that stuff um it's going to echo end of loop or you could make it continue on to the rest of your program so i'm gonna hit save clear out the terminal and we're gonna run it so I have a few things in my home directory, um, and so as you can see, I have a file or folder in my home directory called desktop. Folder in my home directory document. So it just goes through for all the things I have in my home directory. So um, it takes a little bit to understand exactly what a for loop is doing um, if if you've never been exposed to it before. Um, so my my advice to you is you know take take this code put it in there and just mess with stuff you know uh, see, see what it's gonna do and, and and experiment with it that's the best way to learn so clearing out my terminal here so for the last demonstration I'm gonna show you an if statement but if that does is it's going to execute something one way or the other um, so it checks if this condition is met then do this uh, else do this it's simple as that. It's it's going to do one thing or the other based on the condition that you are uh, compared against. So let me let me throw up this if statement here, and uh, we'll just go through it here. So if and what this is is this is listing the contents of my home directory and then counting them. So this returns a number. If this number is greater than ten, then echo wow you have a lot of files in your home directory else echo you don't have too many files in your home directory and then to end the if statement to close it out you type phi fi if backwards and then I just put in end of if statement to be able to see when it breaks out of it so I'm gonna go ahead and save this uh, and I'm gonna run it and as you can see here wow you have a lot of files in your home directory end of if statement so obviously whatever it returned was greater than 10 so let's bump this up to 20 and see what happens and now it says you don't have too many files in your home directory end if statement so I know I have less than 20 um, to see exactly how many I have let's just paste in this command paste so I have 16 so what I could do um, I could add an elif statement within this if loop. So what elif stands for is else if. And we'll just copy this down. If this is equal to 16, then echo... All right, so what this is going to do is if this condition is met, then we're going to echo this. Else, if you have exactly 16, then, wow, you have exactly 16 files. Um, how about that? Else, if it's, not what, if it's not this or this, then it's going to do this. So, like I said, with an if statement, something is happening. So, and let's run it. Wow, you have exactly 16 files in your home directory. How about that? So, and then it broke. It broke out of this, out of the entire if statement. And then it, once again, echoed our end of if statement line. So, really, uh, all in all, that uh, that's that's loops um, with with those um, with with the with the if while. Uh, I'm sorry, the while, until, and for loops, and the if statements, uh, you can create some pretty complex logic in your in your programs. So, 
any if I have any advice to you um, and, and you're trying to learn and understand these definitely copy down what I showed you because you know what the outputs gonna be um, and modify it with your own uh, arguments and your own you know come up with a condition for an if statement come up with with the condition for an until loop and, and, and play with things and see how it reacts that's the best way to do it um, if you have any questions uh, drop a line in the comments below and I'll do my best to get to them and uh, you know if, if you like the video please subscribe thank you